Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to my channel. I'm grateful you're here. So, I'm all packed up and I'm ready to go. I'm all packed up and I'm ready to go. <laughs> so, let me show you what I did with my cooler. I decided that I didn't have time for a sewing project. Time was too tight. So I just used the cushions as they are. They're not awful. I don't, you know, I don't hate them. Um, I grabbed the first paint that was handy, which was this white. So basically what I did was, and this is, you know, when I tell you like shit bothers my eye, this is probably going to bother my eye, but I'm only going to be in it for a few days. And um, then I'm going to be in the house at, in Iowa. But what I did was I put these on the cooler like this and i know that looks really strange <laughs> one of them is sideways one of them is this way there's a big space here there's space over here uh there's two places that i sit when i sit on this i'm either sitting right here cooking i never sit here i never sit here or i sit up front because anything i'm doing up front there uh that's my seat um, so I might be, um, cooking or whatever I'm doing over there. I, I put my pressure cooker on the floor there and I open the max air fan. And so that's where I would be sitting. I wanted comfort before looks, comfort before looks. My comfort is, is I wanted this cushion to be on the edge here. So when I'm sitting here, I'm on the cushion. Same with that end. This end doesn't matter. This. So I think at the end of the day, I'm going to need um, a cushion that um, is, fits this whole thing. And I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out another time. But for right now, um, I just I didn't bother changing the fabric. And I placed them exactly where I want them to be for my comfort. After all, this whole remake was about comfort. So I have my whole cooler filled up. Come check it out. So this easily goes right like this. Um, actually, this it turns out that this is easier to, to to do because the other one had these two the two latches. So I'd have to go latch, latch, and then sometimes when I'd go like this, one of the latches would hook again just from it, me letting go of it. So actually, not having latches is kind of cool. So this just goes just like that. This goes like that. And there's all my food ready to rock and roll. I, I did a, I put a lot of things in zip bags. I have my big Tupperwares down below. And this is the way I take when I, when I have um, some eggs to take, but I don't have the carton because I take them out of the carton and I put them in my little thing in the fridge. I just um, get a piece of tin foil and I just scrunch up a little bit of tin foil in between each, in between each one. And then uh, it keeps them separate. It keeps them safe. So there is my food with this. This is the first thing that goes down. And then this goes here. I also installed some, um, on the bottom of this, I installed some round felt pads. They stick on one side. So I have one in each corner just to kind of, uh, I didn't want to put anything to raise it up higher, but it's still at a very comfortable height. Um, they're not very thick but it's just going to help this kind of move around a little bit better without scraping. Another thing I did yesterday was I, I took a lot of things out and I washed the floor, scrubbed it really good. And then I did, I put a shine on it. Um, I've been looking for floor wax. Do they not make floor wax anymore? I could not find anything that said floor wax. The closest thing I could find is this quick shine. It's like a new floor in a bottle multi-surface floor finish, hardwood, vinyl, tile, laminate. So I use this and boy, it was in the sun yesterday and this, this floor was shining up. It looked really nice. So I have my Berkey all primed. I primed it up. Uh, somebody asked me once if I could show how I primed the Berkey and get the Berkey ready for travel. Um, I thought of it when I was right in the middle of it. Um, and then I just, I wanted to just keep going with, with what I was doing. But, um, but you know, if you just, 
if you just Google on YouTube and say, how do you prime Berkey? It's, it's easy breezy. So I have my three bags of water. They're right over here. They're all down. They fit perfectly right in there. I've got this filled up and it's, and it's filtering now. I got my pea station all ready. Everything's all nice and cleaned out, ready to, ready to rock and roll. Over here, I wanted to show you the, uh, the steel piece that my niece's husband made for in here. So it's all installed. I installed it with liquid nails and it came out perfect. So that's going to be my cooking surface when I need to cook in the van. I likely will not be cooking in the van this trip because I have a lot of uh, foods already cooked and I have lots of salad food. Um, and I'm only going to be on the road for three days. So um, uh, we'll, see how, we'll see how that works out when I finally do use it. I think it's going to be perfect. So I have my drawer full of supplements. So as you can see, the last time, these were I, I only took a few of these because I was just going on a short trip. But now I took enough for um, all the days I'm going to be gone. I took enough. These are my uh, for my supplement shake. So I have these all ready. These need to be handy. They're very, very, very important to me. And I have all my dishes all ready. I got my I got this bin right here filled with um, uh, like four or five day four or five outfits right there. And I got piles of clothes under the under the bed. I have my hot logic all filled up with a nice meal for lunch. Uh, about an hour before lunch, I'll plug her in. I'm going to keep it right here on the bed handy to me so I can just plug it in. Probably about 11 o'clock and it'll be ready at 12 o'clock. Delish. Um, these two bins are my pantry. Those are filled with food, jam-packed with food. Things that I, um, I know I can buy food when I get there. But I have a lot. Of, I had a lot of food, so I just took it, you know. So as you can see under here, I'm a li little bit more packed. So now this big, huge plastic bag right here is my new sheets and pillowcases that I'm bringing, uh, that I got at the thrift store the other day. And those are going to go in there. And then these are all just all clothes, which um, I didn't need to take on my last trip to Connecticut. I was just going away for a few days, but now I'm going away for a month. So I need to have all these. And, and you know, whenever I pack these, 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 these bags, I always put like shorts in one, shirts in another, um, dresses in another, pants in another. And uh, I always, depending if I can see through it or not, and I can tell which one it is. Sometimes I, I have to figure out like, is this one short? Is this one? And I didn't want to label them like permanently because it depends on how I'm traveling, what I'm taking. I might never be taking shorts anywhere if I'm going away on the week, on the winter, you know? So what I, I had a great idea. What I did was I just got a piece of paper and a black Sharpie and I just wrote shorts. And then I put it right here like that. And now I don't have to open them and close them and figure out what's in what. So that's what I did for all of them. I have them all. This one is all tops. And there you go. I have my pickleball rackets. <laughs> Another thing I packed, and this is the first time that I've ever packed this to go away on a trip because I'm going to a place that feels like home. And this only belongs in, in home. And that is this. This is called Happy Po. H A P P Y P O. This is a handheld bidet. It is the best thing. Now, my son is laughing behind the camera because he uses one of these. He loves these. And he's always said to me, Mom, you, you'd love this. You'd love this. You should try it. I'm just like, you know, like I've been taking care of business for over 60 years. I think I know what to do, you know, and, and uh, <laughs> yeah. do you remember I used to wipe your butt? <laughs> so uh, uh, anyway, so another time he mentioned it again and I was just like, yeah, you know, it sounds good, son, you know, and he was like, would you like me to buy you one? I'll get you one, mom. And I was like, okay. So 
you know, within a week, there he, he stuck it in my room. There's this happy po. So I was like, you know, I'll try it. It is the best thing. You fill it up with warm water and you use it like you would a bidet, which is a luxury. It works like a charm and you only use bathroom tissue to dry. You trust me the way I didn't trust my son. Trust me, this is a good item. But I don't take it on the road. That would be ridiculous uh, to use it on the road. <laughs> that would be just kind of messy. Um, I'm not going to take it and use it at somebody's house. I don't want to have to go get it. Like this will be kept in the bath. This is kept in the bathroom. So I keep this in my bathroom. And so now that I'm going to a place that I'm going to call home, I can keep this in the bathroom. Happy Po. I'll put the link in the description if I remember. Because you know me. I remembered my mic. That's because my, uh, my son's on duty. But, you know, when, um, when I'm on my own, you know what happens. And I'm about to be on my own for a month. I always forget my mic. I forget my mic. And then I'm like, no. So I have the um, DC fridge all fired up. That's all going on my Blue Eddy. My Blue Eddy's on 100. It's been parked out in the driveway the past few days, and it just, the sun's just 100. Yeah. Yeah. I got my tools. I do have a lot of extra tools because I don't know what we might, you know, I, I got I'm going to be, this is going to be like a home away from home. I might have to get like a little tool collection for there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just thinking as we're moving in and hanging pitches and maybe assembling things. I just wanted to have all my tools and, um, and we just, we'll see how that all goes. So I'm about to leave and I'm going to miss my people. I'm going to miss my kitty cat. Um, miss my son. Did I ever tell you you have my favorite son? Oh yeah. He's my only son. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm going to miss him dearly. He takes care of things while I'm gone. He takes care. He waters all my plants. Somebody commented the other day and asked me, what happens to all my beautiful plants when I go away? My son takes care of my plants. He takes in the mail. He sends me pictures of my mail. And then if I tell him to open something, he opens it and sends me another picture. And then um, he takes care of the trash and the recycling. And he just takes care of business, lets me know if there's anything funky going on. And um, he's just wonderful. So I'm going to say goodbye to my little girl. Mama's got to go, okay? Mama's going to miss you. Mama loves you. But guess what? I'll be back. And you know that you're with everybody that loves you dearly, right? Who loves you dearly? Everybody in this house loves you so much. Because you're the best kitty kitty. And I'm not going to take you traveling with me. My van's too small. My van's way too small. Yeah, I don't have any room for your poop bucket. I got my own poop bucket. I don't have a room for your poop bucket, too. I love you very much. So here I go. Ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Bye, son. I love you. Bye. See you next month. Hi. I've been driving for two hours and I just pulled over to take a little, uh, a little break. And, um, I'm in the Berkshire mountains in Western Massachusetts. Beautiful, beautiful area. I love driving through the Berkshire mountains. So it's 11 o'clock and I'm ready to plug in my 
Logic. Yay. I'm going to show you what I made. So, as I said, I don't like to cook in the plastic, so the plastic will come off. And I have it in tin foil. And what I have is butternut squash, zucchini squash cooked in smoked paprika. Um, I have um, basmati rice, uh, a mix of basmati and wild rice. And I have a mix of baked chicken and pork. I don't typically buy pork. I just haven't had it for years, but I just bought a package. And uh, so I have that with the, some chicken and fresh chives on the top from my garden and some olive oil. So this is going to get plugged in right now at 11 o'clock. And it will be ready in an hour. So I'm going to put that in like that. Zip her up. And I'm going to go plug her in. And I'm going to hit the road for another hour. Until it's steamy and dreamy. Hi, here I am in New York. Oh, I'm out here stretching. Oh, it feels good. And I took my, ouch, it's hot. I took my lunch out of the, um, out of the uh, hot logic. And it's nice and long. Good. This is going to be good. I took my boot tray up and I put it right on the, uh, the bed. So I can stand and eat because I've been sitting for three hours. And I'm going to eat standing up. Oh, this looks so good. I'm so hungry. I am so hungry. Mm. Mm -mm. Delish. The squash is so good. Mmm. Zucchini is done perfect. Still has a teeny crunch. Not much. Just a teeny, teeny bit. Little al dente. <clears throat> mm. I'm in a Holiday Inn parking lot. <laughs> the first thing I came to when I pulled off the highway, and I was like, this is going to be where I dine today. Hold on. I was noticing, I was feeling a teeny, teeny bit um, sleepy. I don't know if it's because I was, I'm just so hungry or if I need a nap. If I need a nap, that's what I'm going to do this afternoon, take a little snooze. I'll just pay attention to what I need. There's no rush.
Love in the hot logic. Love in the hot logic. Best lunch ever. I love these little brushes. They really, they really clean in between your teeth really good. It's all the food out. Love it. So let me tell you something else I forgot to tell you. Let me warm the van up. Getting ready to hit the road again. So I love these new glasses. Love them. They have a look that I really enjoy. But there's something I miss about my old glasses. Like, I kind of want them both. So what I did was I brought my old frames to my eye doctor, and I asked him to put my new prescription in it. Just got them back. Just got them back. So now these are the old glasses. Remember these? Now, they're not as fashionable. Um, <laughs> these are more fashionable. <laughs> um, these are heavier. These are heavier, so the lightness of these, these are like as light as the feather. They actually have these, these things where you, they, they can stretch out like this. They're just, as, they're just as light as a feather. They bend. So I have options. You know, there's, there's some outfits that I put on that this is a little too harsh of a look. It seems like I would want a softer look. Um, so now I have both. Not that it's a huge deal, you know? Uh, these are more neutral. These are more like, hello? These are more like there. You know, they're there. I'm not even making any sense. But I just thought I would show you how uh, sometimes you'll see me with these glasses. Sometimes you'll see me with these glasses. And I love them both. I'm getting ready to hit the road. I'm in New York. I'm in New York. If I can make it here, I'll make it anywhere. What I'm hoping for is that I make it out to Western New York by the end of the day, if I can. Uh, New York is a wide ass state. It's almost 500 miles wide. It's a wide state, so I'm about 25 miles in, I think, so I have a ways to go. Yeah, you know something? I'm not making it to Western New York today. <laughs> Silly Lolo. Hi. I just pulled over to make dinner because someone's hungry. And I love, I love sitting on here and I can go like this. And my head doesn't hit the ceiling. Oh, life is good. All right. So I'm going to go like this and I'm going to go boom. And then boom. Now let's see. I want some cucumber and some chives, some carrots, some cabbage, an avocado. Ooh. I'll pick one of those. My nori sheets, my the seaweed that I love, love, love. Here's some scallions. Um, some arugula here's some cauliflower and some chicken uh you know what i have somewhere here i forgot to notice i forgot to notice that everything is still really cold <laughs> Here's some sweet potato. Let's see. I think that's it. Everything is still nice and cold. Yay. yippee yay, yay
Okay. I got all my stuff. So I'm going to get out my scale, my cutting board, my scissors, my knife, my spoon for the avocado, my big ass salad bowl. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So let's just see. I think this this avocado might be. I'm gonna open my trash barrel down here. Right over here is I can just dump things as I as I come across trash. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, this some good parts, but mostly not. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with it. I'm gonna hope for the best with this one. Yeah, that's better. That has a little bit of yuck, but not too much yuck. So I'm in New York somewhere. Somewhere in New York. So the last time that I came to Iowa, uh, I remember the first night I made it as far as Syracuse. And I pulled over and went to sleep. Um, I passed Syracuse. Like maybe 20 miles ago, I passed Syracuse. So that means, oh, I got a piece of avocado on my dress. Huh? Good. Um, so that means I just, I drove a little bit more today. I didn't drive faster. I'm not a fast driver. I don't like to drive fast. I like to just take my time. So, um, so I'm going to make my salad.
So I'm nice and comfy in my little bed slash couch. I have my door cracked open a little bit. I'm right at a rest stop. In New York. Here I am. Going to dig deep into this delicious salad. Mm. Mm. So this is a typical day on the road. I love it. I'm just, I'm by myself. Um, I like traveling with other people. I like doing that too, but I, I, I like traveling alone. I stop when I want. I figure it out as I go along. Um, I have no idea where I'm sleeping tonight. I just know that that's going to happen sometime in the next few hours. And I'll figure it out because I always do. And I just love You know, a trip all mapped out is has its benefits, and a, a trip that's um, loosey goosey has its benefits. And I'm, I can do either one. You know, I guess if I had a pick, I would do it like me, the way I do it, or the way I'm doing it right now. I remembered my microphone. Let's raise a flag and celebrate. <laughs> so I was texting with my daughter and she wasn't feeling that great. said, I think I'll stay in bed until you get here. <laughs> that means she'll be in bed for three days. <laughs> She's fine. I think it's just that time of the month. Just feeling poopy. That's all it is. <clears throat> so, here I go.